Okay, agents, so we are here at the entrance to the deep wood where we take the trail through the dark forest to get to the beaver dam and set up our beaver hack. Let's see if the beavers cover up this. All right, let's see. There's a beaver right there. Ugh. 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 I just can't do it. Mm. What's up, adventure agents? Agent Beaver here. I mean, Agent Tex here. <laughs> okay, agents, so many of you have probably seen our last episode where we were hunting for DB Clooper clues in the deep wood, and agents, we found a whole nother set of mysteries. Beaver pond mysteries. So agents, I am here on a very important beaver mission. I am trying to make my own beaver pond. I want to love the beaver agent. I want to learn about the beaver, to be the beaver. Yes, agents, the best way to learn how to love someone and to love something is to use your imagination and imagine what it's like to be that creature. So agents, right down here is an old beaver pond. Agent Ninja, are you down there? Yeah. Agent Axe? Agent Axe is down there. We are going to try to build our own beaver pond, agents. And the first step to building a beaver pond, other than having water, is we need to cut a tree down. Because that's what beavers do, and that's how they build ponds. So agents, we're gonna learn how to be beaver scientists today. This wasn't working so well. Beaver's teeth are reinforced with iron, and that makes them kind of yellow. My teeth are a little bit yellow, but that's because I drink too much coffee, not because I have iron in my look. teeth. What? Oh my goodness! Where did you find that? Right there. Dude! On the side, there's much more Wow! And then off. That is so cool. So everyone, this is Agent Axe, in case you didn't know. That is Agent Ninja. She's sinking in the mud. Oh, let me try it. Oh, best black bear. Best one I've had yet. Yeah. Agent and Ninja is stuck in the mud, but mud is actually one of the other most important key components in building a beaver dam. Mud. Muddy. Oh no. Agent Axe is learning to be the beaver as well. He has his beaver suit on. Muddy. <laughs> yes, agents. Beavers have to work in some pretty cold water sometimes. And in order to do that, suit. they need a thick, I thick have my hide. Beaver suit. And you have and your beaver suit too. Daddy like a beaver. I am. I'm, oh, Agent Axe is making me camouflage like a beaver. So what do we got here? Oh, food for the beavers. Yes. I wonder if beavers one. eat berries. Actually, I don't think they do. We learned, Why? agents, that beavers actually eat the sweet inner layer of bark and they eat leaves. And the leaves that they eat, they love they love the leaves of alder trees and vine maples. And that tree right there is an alder tree that I was trying to cut down. Daddy, can I have a blackberry? You want a blackberry? Sure. There's one right there. It's pretty <laughs> dirty though. Oh, here's one right here. Ouch, that hurts. There you are. A big one. You need some energy. Because are you gonna help me build a beaver dam? Are you? Mm -hmm. Dude, agents, this is so exciting. Beavers, they need water for protection. Yeah, and for food. There's many elements to survival agents. Food is one of them. Uh huh. Protection from danger, that's another one. Yeah, two, one of the two most important. Water, yeah. water gives beavers two things. What? No, three things. Food, because trees grow on water. That's true, yeah. Protection, mm -hmm. yeah. and water to drink. Water to drink, yes, because beavers, I'm pretty sure beavers drink water. Almost every creature on planet Earth is somehow dependent on water. Water is one of the most, whoop, throw my hat up there, important factors in life on this planet. And beavers agents are masters of the waterways. How do beavers know how to make a dam? Because of their water. Because, well, water, yes. They hear but water. They right. hear, boom, ding, 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 yes. Scientists have done experiments with beavers and they took beavers away from their parents right at birth and they put them in an isolated area. That sounds kind of terrible actually. Hmm, that sounds really mean. Anyways, whatever the ethics of it are agents, they did this and what they figured out is the number one thing for beavers is the sound of running water. That's the number one Daddy, thing I'm stuck. that they I'm use stuck. as, as I'm a signal stuck. and indication to build a dam. What? I'm literally stuck, try to pull me. Okay, oh, no. <laughs> Man, that mud really has you good. Wow. Ow, my arm. 
I think this mud is gonna be great for building our beaver dam, okay? But can you help me up the... There you go. But look at me. Beaver rescue mission. Oh my gosh, you're covered in mud. Beaver. <laughs> All right, agents, so we have a big wall right here. And in the winter, this is actually a really big pond. But because the creek isn't running so fast right now, well, agents, it's not a pond anymore. It's just a little shallow pond right here. We want to make this a really big pond. But what do we do? What do we do? What do you think we should do? Make a dam. Make a dam? But there's already a dam here, right? There's already a dam of rocks and sticks right here. But, so why isn't the water full? So what is the problem here? Why isn't the water all the way up? Because it's not because raining. First of all, I can well, see right part there. of that. That's and part of the reason. And it's going through, and I can see right there, and it's going through, uh -huh. and right there, and right there. Okay, and right there, you can see. What do you see going? Oh, look at that. Oh, you're right, agents. Look, the mud is flowing. We stirred up the mud, and we see it flowing, and it's just going, and it's disappearing. Where is it going? What do you hear? Running water. Running water? Where? Oh yeah, look, right here. Look, listen to that. Can you hear that? But we're not trying to stop it from going in, we're trying to stop it from going out. That's true, the water's coming in right here and it's making a noise. But it's obviously going out over here because on the other side we saw the water running out, but it's not making any noise. Wait a minute. So what do we learn about beavers? They have a really heightened sense of what? Hearing. Hearing, yes. Beavers, they can't see very well, but they have a heightened sense of hearing and smell. So we can hear water running over there, but it seems like the water's escaping here, and that's why the dam isn't filling up. But we can't hear the water escaping because it's happening underwater. Can you hear underwater? I cannot hear underwater. <laughs> but you're not underwater, oh. you're above water. <laughs> Agents, sound actually travels better underwater. Did you know that? Hmm? Yeah, sound can travel through water more efficiently than through the air. Beavers can hear water escaping underwater. Isn't that awesome? Let's see if we can hear the water escaping Wait, I'm, I'm underwater. Gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You wanna give it a try? But I'm gonna do it right after the mud cl clears so I can see it. Okay, agent, so I'm gonna test and see if this works. I'm gonna put my ear to the water and see if I can hear where the water's escaping. You gonna do it both? All right, mm -hmm. let's give it a try, ready? I hear it. Me too. I hear it. That's so cool. I can even hear it with this ear unplugged. I wow. It. Does it sound like... Here, let me do a little test. Does it sound like a miniature underground waterfall? Let me do a little test, okay? Tell me if you can hear this, okay? Ready? Yeah. Yes. Can you hear it underwater? Yeah. I was banging this rock up against Wait, another rock now. underwater. Okay, agents, so we can kind of hear the water escaping underwater. And we can see the water escaping right here, right? With the mud. So what are we gonna do? Groom ourselves. We're, oh yes, that's very important. We're gonna groom ourselves, okay. No, be beavers actually do that. They groom each other. No, beavers <laughs> groom themselves to make their um, fur waterproof. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's true. So do our muskrats. Yeah. Did you hear anything? Yes. <laughs> All right. So how are we going to block this water from going out? How are we going to do it? Rocks. That's a so, great idea. What else? What else is an idea? We need mud, sticks. Mud, rocks, sticks, and rocks. Yes, agents. That is what beavers. Oh my goodness, this is deep. Use to build their dams. Mud, sticks, and rocks, and vegetation. Oh! So, where do we start? Well, we got plenty of mud right here, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, who's gonna be in charge of uh, rocks? Me. You, okay. Agent asked to be in charge of rocks. What do you wanna get? Mud. Mud, okay. Plenty of mud right there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get sticks get and, and leaves. Okay. All right, agents, let's get to work. Okay, agents, so. I found out that I couldn't choose who this tree. And I found that out on the last episode as well. <laughs> right here, I have a machete. And I find it really interesting that this machete is made of steel. Yeah. And it's basically the same thing that reinforces the teeth of the beaver. Isn't that awesome? But we humans use it in a much different way. But for the same purposes. All right, so this is an alder tree. This is hanging over the pond. This is the exact tree agents that a beaver would try to chew through to cut down for their pond. So let's be like the beaver and let's get to work. Oh, 
There it goes. Kimbo! Ho ho! Wow! That took a lot of effort, Asians. But it's finally down. And this tree has so many leaves and small branches and twigs. That'll be perfect for damming up Whew. our pond. Man, that was exhausting. All right. Uh, 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 uh. What do you got? Worms. Whoa. We're fishing. And that, yeah, Dude. you see that one little hole right there? Uh huh. We got all those from right there. All of them. From in this mud right here? Yeah. That, that one little so hole. That is so cool. Look what I found. Those are great for fishing. Wow. Hey, maybe we should go fishing after this. What well, do you say? Mm, yeah. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, agents, maybe after we try to be beavers and dam up this pond, uh, we can try going fishing. Look at how long this is. Oh my goodness. Oh, I bet a fish, a plump trout would love that. Um, oh. Okay. All right, so a beaver would chew off these smaller branches here, just like that. And then bring them on over to the dam. You found a boot in the water? It was mine. <laughs> no, in the mud. Oh, in the mud. And I lifted it off. Agent and Ninja found a boot in the mud that she lost there a long time ago. Beaver coming through! Beaver coming through! Did somebody say they need a stick? Hey, <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> I need your help, Beaver. We have sticks now. We can start to cram it into the leak in the dam. Come on, let's do it. Man, that looks delicious. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna drop the worms in here while we work on the dam. There we go. All right, first agents. Oh, I'm gonna do something. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah. So heavy. First, I want to see how high we can get this water level, okay? So, the water is basically right at the bottom of this log right here, okay? Now, let's start to dam it up over here and let's see how high we can get the water to raise up. What do you think? Do you think we can do this, agents? I don't think we can raise it twice. What is it? What is it? What is it? Spider. Oh, it's a spider. Hello, spider. There you go. It's okay. Spiders aren't gonna hurt you if you leave them alone, right? Leave them alone, you'll be okay. All right, agents, so this is an alder branch right here, and the beaver would probably nip off bits of it like that, just like that, bunch it together, and look at that. That will form a blockade underwater. So I'm gonna feel around under there once I get a good wad of this and see if I can get this blocked off. Let's see. Oh, whoa. There is a giant tunnel of water right here. <laughs> wow. That is huge. All right, Agents, I'm gonna stuff this under here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it stayed. All right. I don't know, Do Agents. Need any mud? Let's keep going. Do you need any mud? Uh, any mud? Not yet. I think what we should do is we should do the big six first. There's a lot of vegetation here. This is all fantastic water blocking. Okay, there we go. Ah, even more right here. Look at that. Rip that down. Right here. Just stuff it up under there. There we go. Plug it there. Oh, look at this agent. Ah. All of this right here, this grass, this grass is plentiful, agents. And I think this will work great for damming up this pond. Come on. All right. Cram it in there. Got a big bunch. There. Oh, nice work, Agent Axe. Ho oh, ho. Okay. Oh, there's a spot right there. Just jam it in there. All right, agents. Well, it looks like we got our work cut out for us. Let's see if we can get this thing dammed up. We're gonna go to a time lapse now. Let's do it.
Beaver, beaver! Oh my goodness, agents. Wow. Okay, so we spent so much time, agents. And look at this. Look, it was down there, and now it's up here. We got the pond to raise up over a foot, about a foot. Can you believe it? We got a swimming hole now. Yeah. I mean, sort of. Let's jump in. Ow! Oh, it's not quite deep enough for a cannibal agent. But it's more like a swimming hole. It's more like a beaver pond. Okay. Two things today. Faven likes fruit chips. Faven likes fruit strips. And Faven just ate a whole chunk. Oh my goodness. Faven is eating jerky sticks. This beaver is tired out, agents. Man. And this human doggy is human out. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, so, do you believe she acts more like a human than a dog? Uh, sort of, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, agents, if we were beavers, we would be eating some leaves and some sweet, sweet inner bark. Right? Wood coral! What? Wood coral. Wood coral, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if beavers eat wood coral. Oh, did you know that a beaver had a snack right here? Where? Look closely. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, agents, long ago, probably, I don't know, like five, ten years ago, beavers had a beaver dam right here. In fact, there was many levels of dams, just like you saw in our other videos, up the way here. They're all abandoned now. One of them broke and almost washed the road out below us. It's part of the reason why beavers have a hard time, is because they like to build dams by roads. That's a problem for us humans. And the beavers ate the bottom of this cedar tree. Look at this, they ate the bark all around here. All this damage here, that is from beavers eating it. I have to check you for ticks. Checking her for ticks, huh? So Agent X, is it tough being a beaver? Mm. <laughs> Not for you, right? A human beaver? <laughs> a human with a beaver mind? Right. And you just start eating trees with I your know. human teeth? <laughs> That's what I was doing earlier. <laughs> I tried, you wanna see if you can chew through that tree? Try tasting the inner layer. Um, I'm good. Real quick, real quick. I taste what it do was it. there. You do no, it. No, taste the inner part, the I, inner I, part. I, I'm good. Mm. Do it. <laughs> All right, he's giving it a try. <laughs> the wild beaver in its natural habitat Me eating think. its delicious snack. Good. You think it's good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I told him I'd do it. If he did it, give it a try. Mm. Uh. 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 Mm. Not so good. <laughs> what do you think? You gonna give it a try? <laughs> Is it good? Ew! <laughs> I have orange teeth for a beaver. I yeah. because I'm a beaver. Why do beavers have orange teeth? Five foes. Because there's iron in them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I definitely have a lot more respect for the hardworking beaver now. It has to go through so much work to, to, to dam this, something like this up. But at this is exactly what a beaver would do. But look at that. At we have a giant pond now. And the beavers do it at night too. Yeah. That's why they do it based on smell and mainly hearing. All right, agents, well, how would you like to see some beavers actually at work building a dam? Yeah. You wanna see that? Uh. Okay, but I was thinking that we could set up a camera and we could try to get the beavers to build a dam right where our camera is. And how do you think we would do that? Running water. Running water, with ding, ding, speaker. you got it. Yes, with a speaker, agents. Look what thorns idea. did to me when I was swinging. Ouch. That probably happens to beavers all the time. Yeah, when they're swinging on their rope swings. <laughs> all the time. Yes, agents, I have an idea. So, beavers are ding activated by the sound of running water. Uh, the sound of running water is not good for a beaver because running water means your dam is leaking. So, I was thinking we could set up a hack, a beaver hack. We could put a Bluetooth speaker. Wait, what would we call it? What on, should we call it? What should we call it? The beaver hack? The beaver dam hack. The beaver dam hack. I like it. Agents? Like I on AOE, we would type it in, we press enter, and Beaver dam hack. <laughs> and like in a video game, it's the beaver dam hack, and you get like millions of beavers coming and building a <laughs> dam for you. <laughs> oh, like an idle city builder? You yeah, just... an idle beaver builder. <laughs> what do you think, agents? Should we give it a try? We would go up to the beaver dams that we were at before when we saw the beavers, and we'll put a Bluetooth speaker that's waterproof on top of the dam. 
just where there would be a water leak, right? If the dam developed a leak, we'll play the sound of running water on the Bluetooth speaker and see if the beavers try to build over the speaker. What do you think? Should we give it a try? Beaver think yes. Beaver says yes, all right. Yes, agents, some of you may remember it was a long, treacherous, difficult hike to the beaver dam. All right, agents, let's head to the beaver dam and set up our beaver hack. Come on, let's do it. All right. Yeah. Dude, nice sticker on your helmet. Okay, agents, so we are here at the entrance to the deep wood where we take the trail through the dark forest to get to the beaver pond so we can put our giant speaker, it's in my backpack, right on the beaver dam. Come on, let's head into the deep wood. Wait, we're gonna see if the beaver's gonna be on the speaker. Yeah. <laughs> Won't that be exciting? That see. right here is the perfect place for a, fi a forest fire, right? Like, yeah. there's a little fire right there, yeah, but then, like this, that'll, oh my goodness, that'll burn right. in like five yeah. seconds. Yeah, definitely. This is why you have to be very careful with fires, especially in densely uh, wooded areas like this. This is the best kind of firewood right here. The uh, a kindling. Like, it's so dry! And if it catches fire down here, whoosh, the whole thing will go up in flames. So you definitely don't want to be uh, doing a fire right around here. Look, if you do, like, look, very look how dry and brittle that is. Watch. Yep. 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 What? Like, usually you have to, like, twist it to break right. it off. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to make a fire here, we have to make it at the water. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what? a good idea. It's actually a good long ways to get to the beaver pond. So, we won't put you through that. We'll see you when we get there. Oh. Okay. Okay, agents, so we are lost. We are not exactly where we're supposed to be. Yeah, we're lost, agents. <laughs> so hopefully we can make it to the beavers. Hopefully we don't just wander around in the woods till it gets dark. But uh, let's go back this way. I think it's this way, Agent Axe. Let's try this way. Okay, agents, so chop that. For you. I think I found it. Ah, oh, yes, okay. All right, this tree right here, I remember. I remember this tree very well. It's a hemlock growing on a nurse log. So we, we got way off the trail, agents. Wow. Okay, now we are almost at the beaver dam. Need help? Okay. There we go up. Okay, agents, so. We made it to the beaver pond, or right here, but we're gonna try to be as quiet as we can because we don't wanna scare the beavers um, because we want them to feel kind of at ease so that they will come out tonight. Last time, the first night that we put stuff up, we made such a racket that they didn't come out that night. And so, Mommy I think we made- Mommy's got a little smell, maybe. Maybe it's Fave and smell, yeah. Well, so, ooh, so we didn't take, I'm sorry, Agent Tracker, Faven, with us this time, just in case that was the case. Ah! Shh, Axel, Axel, what? try to be quiet. So, what do you notice about the pond, Agent Ax? It rained. Yeah, look, there's not as much water. The water was up to about right here before, and now it's gone down about six inches. But you know what's incredible though? What's incredible is that there's still water here. Without the beavers, there would actually be no water here at all agents. And that's why beavers are so incredible because even though yes, in the, in the summer like this, it actually gets pretty dry, they still retain quite a bit of water. Oh, let's see here. So, so I'm thinking that this is one of their homes right here. You see that tunnel right here? They come out right here. I'll bet you that this is where some of the beavers live, up in there. So these beavers, they don't have lodges. Some beavers have lodges, and that's a giant pile of sticks and mud and stuff. It's an island oh, that they build. Oh, they're gone. Oh yeah, they're gone. It's an island that they build in the middle of the pond. But some beavers, they dig burrows in the side of the banks. And that's what these particular beavers do. All right, so we're gonna make our way up to the to the beaver dam way up there. I wonder how much water is in there. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at that. 
check this out. These look like tomatoes. Look at that. Oh, they're just like tomatoes. What are those? Do we know what those are? No. No. Wild so cherry tomatoes. Maybe. maybe. Should we eat them? No. Absolutely not. Because Agents, they're red. We don't Especially know what these are. And so we should never eat. You should never, ever eat anything you find in the wild. But Especially these, if they're red. Yeah, but these are, yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, the bright colors can be a, a danger too. We can look it up though. And if we figure out it's safe to eat, then we can give it a try. But, but we'll, smell it. Does not smell like it, a tomato. It smells at all. like a stinky potato, a tomato. <laughs> so maybe these are edible. I don't know, but we definitely should not eat them, right? Where should we put them? Put them. Oh, you mean to take them home and then we'll see if we can eat them? Mm -hmm. Okay, after we plant the beaver cams, we can go ahead and try it out and put the uh, uh, look that up and see if we can There's figure so out. There's so many. It is. See, look at all. Yeah, they're everywhere. So many. They're growing right where the huckleberries were, so you have to be careful. They look kind of like huckleberries, and it's like, oh, look, the huckleberries are just really big. But really, they could be something poisonous and dangerous. Whoa! Shh, shh, shh. There's something right there. There's something right there, Agents. The beaver pond is so low. It is so low, Agents. Whoa! Oh my goodness. That water went down so much. It was about right here. It's gone down about three feet. Three feet, Agents. Wow. Oh, there's fish in there. No, it's those salamanders. They're everywhere. Really? There's, Mating season? Oh, agents, there are so many. There are so many in here. Oh my goodness, these creatures are so incredible. Come on up here, Rivy. So, Agents, these are rough-skinned newts and they are deadly. If you eat one, it can kill you. Okay, here's one. I think you can have a good look at it. Here you go. Tons of little tadpoles. No, this is a rough skin newt. Look at that beautiful creature. It looks like a frog. Wow. Look at it. It's so incredible. It is doesn't it really have claws. It's uh, it's just super slippery. These things are pretty slow above water and they are really fast or pretty fast underwater. Now look, look at that tail. Is that tail like any kind of lizard you've seen? No. That is a tail that is built for swimming underwater. <laughs> it's like an alligator tail. Long I have never feet. seen this many of these rough skin newts in my entire life put together no. in this pond. There are so many amazing creatures and all thanks to the beavers, agents. This is a extremely healthy environment for these creatures. So incredible. I am oh. so, Daddy, so uh, humbled and thankful to be that? able to be here. What? A muskrat. Right there. Oh, really? It just ran in the bush. Asshole did just saw a muskrat. I told you I saw something over there. I bet that was what it was. There are hundreds of these right here. And in fact, agents, the last time I came up here, I saw a giant egg sack right there that was full of these little creatures. And I bet it was one of the little ones. Um, oh, it just made a squeaking noise. Okay, agents, so I'm gonna let this one go right here. This one looks like it's fully grown and uh, don't wanna put my hands in my mouth after I touch this. Remember, never ever touch creatures either. And not only do you not eat food, but don't ever mess with any creatures in the wild, okay? You always what? make Wait, sure what? that you have an adult telling you uh, what to and not to do when it comes to these creatures. But what if you live in Hawaii and like there's lizards everywhere and you find a lizard? Um, just make sure you have an adult's permission to, to, to handle any kind of wildlife. All right, agents, let's let this one go. Let's see how let's fast see how fa Okay, agents, so we're making our way across the dam here over to where the tunnel is. There's the tunnel right there, but wait a minute. Do you think they even use this tunnel anymore? I don't even know 
if these beavers are coming in and out of here anymore. I don't even know if we put the water things right here, if they would even use it. Maybe we should go look at the other dams down there. See if there's a better spot to put it. You want to give it a try? Okay. Oh, because it's not even flowing. Yeah, because it's not even flowing. I don't even know if the beavers would use this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at that. Do you see that path right there? Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. That is a clear sign. Do you see that, Agents? Do you see that distinct line right there? Mm -hmm. That tells me that beavers are definitely still coming through here. Definitely. Okay. Coming through this okay. tunnel? Yeah, so I'm confident. I think they're going up and up and down this tunnel. So maybe if we put the if we put the speaker right here, I think that maybe they'll build a dam over it. What do you think? You want to give it a try? Mm -hmm. Okay, agents. Let's give this a try. So here are the game cams, agent, right here. See that? Now they are definitely oh, out of battery. The batteries are probably dead in this, and the, the memory cards are probably dead too, so we gotta take those cards out, replace the batteries, and we'll get this show on the road. Okay, so we've got our giant Bluetooth speaker here that we're gonna leave here, that right there. And I've got some spare batteries. And I also have my Venture Agents laptop here. The Venture Agents laptop, I need this so I can get the information off the SIM cards. I wonder if we got any more really cool beaver footage. Let's get that information off and check it out. Okay, agents, so here's the card. I'm gonna put it in here, see if I can get the info off. Okay, so I've successfully extracted the beaver cam footage, and now I am replacing the batteries inside of the camera. Okay, everyone, beaver cam ready for action. Okay, so I got the camera set up right there. And I got another one set up right there. And now for the Bluetooth speaker. Okay, so I got the speaker set up here. Turning it on. Okay, connected. Oh. Do you hear that, agents? That's the sound of running water. And that is the sound that activates beaver power. Let's see if the beavers will cover up this and dam over our speakers. What do you think? You think they will? I love the sound of running water. I guess beavers don't necessarily like the sound of running water. <laughs> so I have a power pack for my phone here so that it won't run out of battery. So this should last a long time. And just in case, I'm putting it all in this bag right here. Oh, there it goes. It turned off and it turned back on. And it'll loop like that, on and on and on until the battery dies. So I'm gonna stash the phone right, right up there. And I put that stick there so the beavers, oh, don't just take the speaker and throw it in the water. <laughs> all right, agents. Well, all we can do now is wait. So what'd you find? That. Whoa! What in the world is that? Turn it around. That is huge. But it's super thin. It is. You know. I thought it might be like a leaf bug. I don't know what that is. It looks like a leaf though. Some kind of, uh, maybe some kind of flying insect and this is just the shell. Maybe it went through metamorphosis. I'm not sure. It's just another incredible creature in the beaver pond. Agents, I am but so I think it died because it so fell in the beaver pond. Because happy I here. I just love it. I wish I could build a house like right there and live with the beavers. What do you think? Would you live here with the beavers? We wouldn't have enough clothes necessarily. Yeah, I don't know. We could make them out of bark. Beavers eat bark, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll eat our home. Uh, all right, well, do you hear that? Running water. What do you think? You think the beavers are going to try to cover it up? You think so? No. All right, agents. Well, let's go ahead and head home. There's a campfire waiting for us to build at home, right? Mm -hmm. You want to do it? Mm -hmm. All right, well, we made a special little campfire spot, and now we need to put the stones around it and light a fire and maybe cook some food on it. Come on, let's head back. Okay, wait a minute, agents. Before we head back, we figured out what these berries are. Yay! I found it. You know what they're called? What? 
They're called Bittersweet Nightshade. And so these are a nightshade, they're a bittersweet nightshade, and they are toxic to both animals and humans. That's what it says, so definitely do not eat them. Yeah, so these are deadly. They look like tomatoes, they kind of smell like tomatoes, but they are toxic to humans and animals. There's another they reason like why. They cherry tomatoes. They do, yeah. There's another reason why you do not eat anything you find in the wild, agents. Especially if it's red. Unless you absolutely know, an agent, an adult tells you that it's okay if you're a kid, if you're an adult, just look it up. It can be dangerous, and uh, these are definitely toxic to humans. All right, so I was thinking we could go back, make a campfire, and check out the new beaver cam footage. Yeah. You wanna see if there were some oh, more beaver? The by the campfire, yeah. All right, agents, let's head back to the campfire and check out our new beaver cam footage. All right, agents, before we check the beaver cam footage, I wanna show you something really cool Agent X did with the beaver pond weeks later. Uh-oh. You stuck in the mud, huh? <laughs> This is uh this has become a rescue mission. Okay, agent. So Agent uh, Axe and Agent Andrew are stuck in the mud. No, that's I'm not grabbing that muddy head. I'm no no. Hey, listen. Here, grab my hand. I I I do not want you to throw mud. Oh, okay. All right, there you go. <laughs> we got it. I thought you were gonna start throwing uh, mud at me. All right, get your boots out. There you go. Don't break your uh, leg. Oh my gosh. Help me. Wow. <laughs> All right, Agent Hummingbird, let's get you. Oh, oh my goodness. So, Agents, I wanted to show you this right here. Look what Agent Axe made. This is incredible. Our beaver pond kind of went down. It's actually been an, uh, a few weeks since we did that. But our beaver pond actually went down. Um, and so it exposed this area right here. But Agent Axe, like a pro beaver here, look at this. He built two successive ponds. Look at this. Here is a, uh, a pond here, this beaver pond down here. And then you go up right here, and there is another beaver pond right here. See this? Look at that. And then if you go up again, see this? There is another really big beaver pond right up here. Well, this we need to fill so that in. Can you help us cool. fill that in right there? Oh, yeah. So we need to do some repairs on this beaver pond because it's actually flowing around and over right here. Okay, what do we do? Put a bunch of vegetation right there, a bunch. Okay, so put a bunch of vegetation right there, then what? <clears throat> and then we stomp on it and put a bunch of mud uh, on it and then we squish it all together and then okay. we bring it right there and then we- Okay, kind of like uh, making bricks. This is our like clay pile here. So we grab some vegetation. Oh, vegetation over here maybe. This some way. straw here. This is exactly what the beavers would use, just like we figured out yeah, earlier. Like and then we bring it over to the mud and then we mix mix it in like that this is actually how early humans and some humans still today learn to make bricks yeah for like a hut for making mud huts and stuff like that they'll take straw and different kinds of vegetation and mix it with clay or even mud sometimes and they will make bricks out of it so that's how we're gonna repair this beaver dam here just like up at the beaver dam agents where we saw fresh evidence of the beavers making repairs of their dam with bits of stick and mud we are going to repair axe agent axe's beaver dam using these bits of vegetation and sticks and mud okay so look see this right here this right here is leaking down right there so we're just gonna put a patch right there just like that. It's still leaking out the side here. All right, I think we'll be able to raise this up a bit. Nice. So what I do is I just bury it completely, then okay. I- Okay, just step on it, that's good. Yeah. Hey, there you go. And then you just pick it up. Mix it all up together. Mix it all up and good. And then it's all like, stuck together. I just uh -huh. pick it up and move it over there. Yeah, well, I think this needs some more mud in it. Yeah, and then, but after that, I bring it over there and I coat it, it in it. And then I coat it, it in up. mud, yeah. I mash it up. Okay. A little bit afterwards. Okay. I'm gonna take this bit right here. I have some mud. I'm just gonna smash it right there and there watch this. <laughs> watch this. The water is barely running there now. Look at that. Watch. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna move it and we'll see what happens. Watch. I'm gonna move this. Now watch what happens. Look at that. Water is flowing again. See that? Look at all that water. Now watch. I'm gonna put this mud down here just like that and boop, the water stopped. Flowing. It's just barely flowing. A little trickle there. That looks oh, 
I love being a beaver age. It's so much fun. Okay. Oh yeah, right there. And then you just put mud on top of it. Mm-hmm, man. You just put a little mud on Little mud on top of it, yeah. So look, we got this sealed up here, but, oop, look at that. Now listen, you hear that? That is the sound that activates, activate beaver power. It activates the beaver sense of must repair. Damn, don't like that noise. Ugh. It probably, it's like dripping water, like choo, choo. It's like, ugh, it's irritating me. All right, here we go. Nice. Oh. Look, see that? And on that oh, yeah. is a good beaver patch. That's a good seal right there, uh huh. The mud nice will seal. eventually dry and then seal it up. Mm -hmm. Yep. So what do you got there, Agent Hummingbird? You got a, a, a mud ball? Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Let me see you patch it up, okay? Tell me, where do you think, where is it leaking? Right here, I'm right, right there. Right there? Okay, can you patch well, it right uh, there? It's bigger over there. So it is bigger over here, that's true. This spot is much bigger. I'm gonna do this spot. I'm gonna get a little bit wet. A little bit wet, okay. So All it'll be right. easier to mold. Just put it right, oh, right there. There you go. Oh. That's a good spot. It's oh. running over. And this? Yeah, it'll run over, Wait. but that's okay. That's why we need a lot more. Oh, there you go. Agent Axe puts it there. And, and now, then it stops it. Those two patches work together to stop it. Okay, agents, so check this out. We made this beaver pond way bigger. Look, it's extending out here. In fact, the beaver pond is leaking right there. Look at that. Our beaver pond is leaking over here. Look, this pond drained. You see that? Look at that, we, we, we repaired it, but it's, it actually drained. Our pond has extended its borders. It's now gonna divert the creek water to a completely new area. Wow, yeah, look at that. Look, Sam, it made a whole new island. It made a whole new, look, hey, maybe we should uh, uh, dig it out like you were doing right there, Axel, and try to make it go into one stream. Like, see if we can create basically another creek. Beavers do this too. They also create channels within their beaver ponds. And look at that. Look at this. This is the big pond. This river now goes up. Oh. And it's getting deeper. Up, deeper. up, up. Up here. All the way from this beaver pond up here. So, this beaver pond is now drained. How are we going to get this beaver pond to fill up? How can we do that? If you were a beaver, how make would you do that? Right make a hole right there. Or what else? What's what's another way? He's right. We could make, we could break the dam a little bit right here and allow it to fill up there. Or what's another way we could do it? Wait, we need to dig a trench from there to there. Huh? We could dig a circular trench around to there. That's interesting. You want to give that a try? Yes. We're right. gonna make a cool little snake that, that snakes around into this pond. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so I have this stick right here. It's gonna be my primitive shovel. Okay, so we've created a channel here and it's full of water. Look at that. It's just ready to go, but I figured we'd wait. Uh, Agent uh, Hummingbird, you wanna do the honors? Mm -hmm. You know what that means? No. That means me and Agent Axe did most of it. I want you to dig out that last little part. Can you do that? Break the dam. That's like a little miniature dam. It's kind of tough. Can you do it? Maybe did whack it. it. There you go. You're doing good. Oh, it's coming through. Look. It's coming. It's coming through. through. Look at that. It's like a blue waterfall. It's like a water slide. It's a water slide this is mouse. so it's cool. It's a mouse's water slide. Yes. No, I'm going to give a water skater. All right. Water skater, water, water slide. Water skater's going to do a water slide. Where is it? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Look at Look it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. Look, it's filling up our pond. I wonder how long it'll take. Okay, let's watch it rise and see how long it takes, okay? All right, look, it's overflowing. Wow, check it out. That is so Let's cool, our dam. pond is full. Let's make it okay, dam. so it wasn't filling up quick enough, so look what I did. I put a little dam right here so it doesn't flow down into there, but it diverted all the water here. Break that dam and look what happens. There we go, but we don't need that anymore because that pond is already full and overflowing. So now we have two dams and then an extra creek running through here. This is so incredible. This is exactly what beavers do, agents. Jay, and we have an island 
sick. They retain no, Daddy. water. Daddy, a it's incredible, no, incredible work. Mm -hmm. So important. I really hope for the day that the beavers can come back in the northern United States here in North America. Uh, they are making a comeback, but maybe they'll make a gigantic comeback someday, and we will have things much, much, much better than they are as far as the ecosystems for these amazing creatures that live in beaver habitats. One, two, three, four streams. Four streams, there are four. Look, the water is, is spilling over, over here, and it's creating a whole new wetland. This is incredible, beaver okay. power! Okay. Big in. Oh, there it is. Axel's See, it burns right. well. It does burn well. Nice. Hey, right, baby, keep going. Get yours. Okay. Try this striker. I'm gonna try both of them. Try that one. Ready? So, River likes to combine this fair rod and that striker. Let's see it, baby. Oh, there we go. Oh, it got lit. It got lit. Okay. Oh, oh. That's that over there. Okay, now put the fat one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, go put it out. Don't put it out. <laughs> All right. You got it. Uh oh. Uh, yep. I think so. There you go. Blow on it. Good work, Rivy. Okay, you too. Do you like our new fire pit? Yep. Is this awesome? Mm -hmm. Agents, behold our new fire pit. We just put these logs in here, these giant logs. And right next to our house here, I got these rocks from the rock pit up there, and we brought them down here, and we put them around in the middle of this gravel pad that we made, and we made an awesome, awesome fire pit. I am so excited. River and Axel have been Look practicing their primitive um, fire starting here, skills. Wait, here, um, we need to make sure that it melts. Mm -hmm. I mean, the their survival the start, fire starting skills. And so I am so proud of them both. We use dryer lint, just lint we got from our dryer, and some fat wood, and then some nice uh, logs here. And boy, we have made, we got this idea. Daddy. We made kind of an elongated fire pit. Oh, that's mine. We got the idea from a bushcrafting video where they made a Viking fire pit. So, okay. So we need to look and Daddy. check out the beaver cam footage, right? Daddy. Oh, we got hot dogs we're cooking, huh? Sausages. But first, we're going to cook the hot dogs because we can watch it. While you eat your hot dog? Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Okay, cook your hot dogs first, then we'll check out the beaver cam footage. Not the beaver cam footage with the speakers, the beaver cam footage that we got up there a long time ago that's just been sitting up there for about a month. All right, so we are eating our hot dogs and in our snack, we got the fire roaring. And we are gonna watch the beaver footage we haven't checked out yet. You ready? All right, let's check it out. All right, let's see. A oh, beaver. that is a beaver. You're right. Oh, oh, it's a baby beaver. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, there's another one. There's another beaver right there. You see that? Oh, look. Look, the beaver's over there. What's it doing? Look, it's right there. What's it doing right there? What's it doing? Oh, what's it doing now? Oh, what is it? Oh, wait a minute. Go back. Go back. What is that? Muskrat. That's a muskrat. Dude. That's so cool. Now, I don't know if that's a muskrat or a water vole. It's a little small. Oh, oh, no, that's big. There's a beaver right there. Oh, what is it doing? It's got some horse tail in its mouth. What's it doing there? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it goes. This is so cool. Oh, there's a big beaver. Big beaver. Oh, oh, there's the big beaver right there. This is in the daytime. Look at that. It's the beaver again. All right, what else? Oh, there's a beaver. What's it doing? It's eating something. What's it? It's repairing its dam. <gasps> there it is. It's, I think it sees the camera. It's like, oh, I don't know about this camera. I'm gonna get out of here. Look, there's steam coming off the water. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a mouse. Oh, that's a mouse. See, that's not the muskrat. That's or the water vole. I think that might be a water vole, Axel. What's that? Oh! It's, it's looking at the camera. It's like, I see you. I that looks like you. a big cow. Me. Oh, that is so huge! Wow, that is so big. That's definitely the big beaver. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Oh, what is it? Oh, there's a the little baby beaver. Oh, it's the baby one. 
it grew a little bit. This was like a, a month oh. later. Oh, there's another little one. There's that little, oh, what is that? You see it? I think It that, took something. It did take something, what did it take? A little a insect bug. maybe? I wonder what that is. Oh, there's big mama papa beaver or something. There you are. What you doing there? Creepy white eyes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, there it is again. Mm -hmm. Going back. And going back in. And uh, that's it. That's the end of the beaver footage. Wait, that was all? That was it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then they died. I checked the other camera and it got messed up, so it didn't it didn't work. Uh, every time the reeds blew, it went on and it ran out of memory really quick. Well, that was really cool though. I love watching. They didn't bury the speaker. Oh, but River, this is from this is th that footage was from like a month ago. So, the speaker footage is happening right now. What if the beavers right now are building a dam over our speaker? That would be so cool. They would have come I, out like so an hour and a half ago, right? Um, I don't know, something like that. Uh, yeah, they would have come out now, but they they they've been coming out at night there, it looks like. So, I don't know, agents, but the pond's way down. We'll see what happens, agents. Check back in a future episode, maybe the next episode, bye, bye. and we will go and check that beaver camp footage and see if the beaver built a dam over our speaker. This is so exciting. The idea, agents, is that the beaver is trying to get the sound to go away. And so the more mud and sticks and stuff it puts on the speaker, the quieter the noise of the speaker will get. Just like the more the beaver puts, um, just like we were doing down at the pond, you know that noise we heard with the water running over the, the pond? But as we dammed it up, the noise went away. And that's what activates the beaver powers. Hey, get that noise to go away. So, anyways, we'll see. I am very excited about this. All right, agents, well, remember, life's an adventure, and love is the key, and we love you, and we are so glad that you joined us on today's adventure. Be sure to check back on future adventure to see if the beaver hack worked. For any adults who are watching, if you wanna get your Adventure Agents merchandise or your official Adventure Agents badge with your agent name on it for you and for your whole family, just look up our website, theadventureagents.com, uh, and it, it'll come right up. Look for Adventure Agents badge, uh, just do it a search in your browser and it'll come right up there and click on it and, and go check it out. But remember, you don't need Adventure Agents badge or Adventure Agents merchandise to be an Adventure Agent. That's something that comes from the heart. All right. Agent X out. Agent X out. Agent X out. Agent Hummingbird out. All right. See you on the next adventure. If you want to get access to all of our family's videos early on an ad-free, safe platform, check the link in the description down below to see how you can get access to our official Adventure Agents app, where all of our family-friendly videos are posted. And don't forget to check out our Adventure Agents merchandise store where you can purchase your official Adventure Agents badge, clothing, and survival gear.